MIT develops imaging system that sees through fog. Well, would you look at that? MIT researchers have developed an imaging system that can peer through fog. One of the main challenges to the development of self-driving navigation systems that use visible light is their inability to handle misty or foggy driving conditions. The system uses a time-of-flight camera, which emits short laser bursts at objects and then counts how long it takes for the light to bounce back. Fog normally scatters laser light, which is problematic for autonomous vehicles. But thanks to an algorithm developed by the scientists, the system can find patterns in the scattered light to calculate distance. The goal is to eventually integrate the system into autonomous vehicles so that even in bad weather, self-driving cars can avoid obstacles. Researchers tested the system in fog much denser than cars would encounter in the real world. They found that the system performed even better than human vision. Who's steering? Self-driving bus launches and crashes two hours later. The driverless electric shuttle bus made a big bang in its debut in Vegas on Wednesday. Unfortunately, the bang came in the form of an accident after only two hours of being in service. The driverless shuttle is designed to communicate with traffic signals and share the road with other vehicles while stopping for pedestrians. It looks like the shuttle was minding its own business around 12.07 p.m. on Wednesday when it sensed a truck was attempting to back up, so it came to a stop. Problem is, the truck kept backing up until it gave the shuttle a little love tap. The truck driver ended up getting a ticket for illegal backing. In the end, damage was minor and neither of the drivers were hurt. How do Google's self-driving cars work? For years, self-driving vehicles were considered futuristic and a thing of fantasy. However, with multiple companies pouring resources and money into the development of this technology, it may soon become a reality. And with some cities like Singapore pumping money into the development of autonomous vehicles, this may be the beginning of the end for human drivers. So where exactly are we in terms of finally being able to actually use one? In a sense, autonomous cars are already a reality. Google's self-driving cars are fitted with a GPS receiving antenna, LiDAR remote sensing system, a video camera, and radars. Google's autonomous vehicles use GPS to match their position with customized Google Maps in order to select the best routes to take. Radars in the front and back of the car keep track of other vehicles on the road. The LiDAR sensor rotates 360 degrees and detects the distance between the car and surrounding objects. A video camera behind the car's front windshield is able to read road signs and traffic lights. This is not to say that the self-driving cars are ready for public use as there are still a few important wrinkles to smooth out. A current flaw with Google's cars is that they require the roads they're traveling on to be precisely mapped out. Otherwise, the vehicle is unsure of how to behave. These maps are extremely detailed digitalizations of the physical world, where things like even the height of every single curb is measured out. There are also issues with the car's algorithms. In mid-February, a Google self-driving car failed to slow and hit a public bus because it expected the bus to yield. According to Wired, Google's cars have driven more than 1.3 million miles since 2009. As of January, they've been involved in 17 crashes, all of which could be blamed on human error, an impressive record that was ruined by the Google car that crashed into a bus last month. Google driverless car pulled over for driving too slow. Police in Mountain View, California are still getting used to the idea of Google's self-driving vehicles. The models known as neighborhood electric vehicles are programmed to not exceed 25 miles per hour. So when one of them was holding up traffic on Thursday doing 24 in a 35 zone, an officer decided to pull the car over and ask some questions. Alexander Maluski snapped a photo of the traffic stop and posted it on Facebook. The officer didn't actually issue a ticket to the driverless car, and they both went along their merry way. According to Google, their autonomous cars have driven 1.2 million miles without getting a ticket. But other cars have rear-ended the relatively newfangled vehicles on several occasions. Chalk it up to human error. Singapore plans to test self-driving buses. Singapore announced on Wednesday that the country will begin testing autonomous buses on the road in 2018. Two existing electric hybrid buses will be equipped with various sensors, including LiDAR, high-sensitivity cameras, radar, and GPS receivers. 
The autonomous system allows the buses to detect obstacles and lanes in order to navigate through traffic. The test route covers a one kilometer stretch of road in the west of the island. The buses can be recharged at bus stops along their route, which takes about 30 seconds. Singapore began testing driverless taxis in August. One of the self-driving cars collided with a truck on Tuesday, but no one was injured in the accident.